last weekend, I was pretty much glued to my TV. Help! I was watching The Royal Wedding on YouTube, Hulu, Netflix. It's like a fairy tale. So you know I just have to make a doll inspired by... Her Royal Highness, Princess Harry, the Duchess of Sussex. And let me just say that you looked fabulous at the wedding. That was a lovely shade of pink. When I decided to make a doll inspired by Meghan Markle, I thought about this one. It is a birthday Barbie. She has the right hair color, but it just didn't seem quite right. Wonder Woman has a very similar bone structure, but I really want a doll that is smiling. Meghan Markle always has this amazing smile. So I decided to go with the Barbie Fifth Harmony Alley doll. I think she's a good match for skin tone. She has a great smile and a few beauty marks. However, I want her hair to be a little darker. So that means a reroute. Lemon! Royalty is coming! Royalty is coming! This is not a drill! Did you say royalty is coming? Here, you take the scissors. Uh-uh. Not this time. First, I remove the hair. I remove the head and use tweezers to remove the remaining hair. Take yarn and cut off a piece. Unravel it to make it thinner. From that one piece of yarn, I got four strands. Put a loop of fishing line through the eye of the needle. Place one of the strands through the fishing line. Then pull it to thread the needle with the yarn. Push the needle through one of the factory holes. I use pliers to pull the needle out through the neck. Tie the end of the yarn in a knot. Trim off the excess past the knot. Then pull the other end. If you give it a little tug, it'll remove the excess yarn. Using a curling iron, on a low setting, I begin to straighten her hair. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. You can even add a little curl. Pull the hair back and gather it at the back of the neck. Divide the hair into two pieces, then twist them and overlap, wrapping the tail ends around to hold it in place. I love all of the little flyaways. It is so authentic. I use nail polish remover to remove her lipstick. Use acrylic paint to repaint the teeth. Mix varnish and a touch of pink to paint on a very light gloss. Water down brown acrylic paint to make a few freckles. Dry brush on a little black to give her smoky eyes. Now let's set her aside to dry while we start on her clothes. To make the dress, we're gonna use Sophie as our model. Measure around the doll's shoulders, adding a half an inch for a seam allowance which gives me seven and a half inches. For the dress, I'm using a stretchy dance fabric. I lay it flat, then fold it over. On the folded edge, mark seven and a half inches, draw an angled line out to the side to make a trapezoid. Carefully cut on the line drawn to make two large trapezoids that are connected at the top. Fold it in half, lining up the raw edges, so going all the way down the side. I use pins to hold it in place because this fabric likes to shift. So a straight line going all the way down. Then I went back and sewed a zigzag stitch for more support. Then remove the pins, open it up and lay the fabric so the seam is now in the center. Place the doll inside Pinch the fabric to make adjustments so it is fitted around the shoulders. Sketch a line to the back seam, sew on the line drawn. Place the doll back inside, then pinch the material around the arms. Use a pencil to make a light sketch to make the sleeves and the side of the dress. Sew on the lines drawn. You want to make sure that the sleeves are wide enough for the doll's hands to pass through and do a back stitch at the bottom of the sleeve to lock it in place. Carefully cut at the bottom of the sleeve, going straight across, then go up into the arm, 
making sure that you do not cut the thread. Trim the excess fabric from the sides. Repeat on the other side. Flip it inside out. I use the end of a paintbrush to push out the sleeves. Place it on the doll, feet first, to make a dress inspired by her wedding dress. With this simple design, you can make the dress in less than an hour with no pattern. And since the fabric is stretchy, it allows for a sleek form fit. This fabric doesn't fray so we can leave raw edges at the sleeve and trim the bottom to shorten the front and make a train. I did have a few hiccups while making this dress. One, I needed to make the trapezoid really wide. Probably a little bit wider than what I cut would have been perfect because it would have gave more space for the sleeves. And I probably should have sewn the inner arm up just a little bit higher. But I like it. It has a very designer runway kind of feel. And I like how the dress is all one piece with no Velcro in the back. I found these rings at the dollar store. They are made of aluminum, so I just bend it open to make a silver headband. Cut a piece of black cardstock so that it looks like a crescent moon. Cover it with glue and glitter. Press some gems into the glue. Cut an oval of tulle. I use my sewing machine to make a decorative edge all the way around. Take the tool and fold it over so that it is uneven. Find the center point and stitch it onto the headband. Carefully glue the glitter paper onto the headband to make a veil and tiara. Take artificial plants, cut them into small stems, bunch them together, then wrap with thread to hold in place, add ribbon, to make the bouquet. Now before she can get dressed, she needs a made to move body. The Barbie rock climber looks like a pretty good match. Everyone, say it with me. Very carefully and with the utmost care, swap heads. In hindsight, I probably should have switched bodies before doing her hair. Let's get her dressed. First, the dress, the veil, flowers, and a pair of white shoes to make Meghan Markle in her wedding dress. Now we need a background for our duchess. Using foam board, printables from our blog, like the gothic door and a stone wall, scrapbook paper, artificial plants, and glue. I start by drawing a line down the center of the foam board Cut on the line drawn. Always remember to have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. Now I have two boards that are 15 inches tall. I will use one for the back wall and the other one, cut it in half, place one to the side, then cut the other one in half again. Stack and glue them together. Cover with scrapbook paper. Cover the other one with the same scrapbook paper. Stack and glue them together. Glue on the wall. Cut out the printable door, glue the two pieces together, place it onto the back wall and trace around it, glue the printable brick wall around the tracing. My printer started to run out of ink, however that's okay because we're going to cover that up anyway. Glue on the door, take artificial plants and glue them onto the wall to make a lovely archway with a step, all made from one piece of foam board. And it is the perfect background for a royal wedding. Thank you for joining us while we made Her Royal Highness Princess Harry, Duchess of Sussex, on her wedding day. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm so rough, and you all wanna be round. And you all wanna be round. Run a champion, a champion. This is me, I still own it. Cause you all wanna be loved. And you all wanna be loved. But a champion.
give a shout out to it Jennifer. What's up? Isn't she absolutely stunning? What an elegant dress. Live at the royal wedding. She's got a great smile, doesn't she? I mean, like, really, it just makes me happy. Wow. Every single channel is the royal wedding. Awesome! Wait, how do I choose? Aww.